Let's go Cowboys! <laughs> Welcome to my PC video. Alright guys, I've been waiting to do this one for a while. Um, wanted to show off my office, stuff that I collect. I'm a huge Dallas Cowboys fan and I'm a big fan of Tom Brady as well. I have some of his stuff as well. Just wanted to go through my, uh, my PC with you guys. What it looks like displayed, what I have in it, stuff, how much some of it costs. I think it's interesting. That's why we do. That's why we're collectors, and uh, it'll be a little bit longer video. But uh, feel free to skip ahead. But I appreciate you guys watching. Um, this is my chance to show off a little bit. You know, this is what we do: is we want to show off and show our PC. So uh, before we get going here, let me just give you guys a little bit into our the office and uh, what I do here. All right. So right off the bat in my office, this is my first curio. Some of you guys already have seen this one, but. Uh, I love this display. So this is where, you know, when I'm doing breaks of hot packs, um, when I'm shipping out eBay items, this is where, this is right behind me. Oh man, this beauty, look at this thing. So this is my, uh, my main display right there. So you can see I got it all set up here. Got my photo box ready to go, my light for when I'm uh, doing YouTube videos. You know, computer, everything like that. This right here, I went to the Super Bowl. Uh, so after my wife and I got married, we had some money left over. And we went on a second honeymoon. So we went to the Super Bowl. This was the one in New Orleans. This was the blackout one. Uh, Beyonce was a halftime show. It was the Ravens and 49ers. Uh, that was where, it was the Harbaugh. It was the Harbaugh brothers that they were the, uh, the two coaches. It was pretty intense. We had a great time in hi, New Orleans. Guys. Oh, Haley wants to say hi. Say hi. <laughs> so we had a great time at that one. Uh, we met some friends from Texas there, and uh, it was a blast. So this is a, this is kind of like a reminder it of was oh, a blast. Haley was not there. She wasn't born yet. This is my uh, my little like Brady shrine. He is a um, you know his t t Tom Brady rookie card right here. I pulled this from a hobby box when I was like I don't know just a little kid back in 2000. This is an actual ticket from his first Super Bowl. Um, so I saw this one on eBay. It was only, I only got it for like 20 bucks. So an actual ticket from his first Super Bowl win was pretty cool. And this is just a mock of the actual draft card when they drafted Tom Brady. I just love the way this looks. This kind of completes my office. Look, bottom line, you got, if there's greatness, you have to appreciate greatness. I know everyone says, oh, I can't wait till Brady's done. But personally, I want Brady to go as long as possible. He is just a, a great player to watch. Now let's go into my man cave. So I'll go down the stairs. So right off the bat, you'll see we got Demarcus Ware and uh, Miles Austin. These are uh, autographed jerseys. My wife got these throughout the years for me. Got them up. Of course, best dad. You guys can uh, at me on that one. <laughs> but uh, we have fun. You can see the kids have kind of taken over my man cave. This is where I work out and whatnot. But um, I guess before we get started, we got the pennant up here. This is the, what do we have here? This is the uh, program from the Super Bowl uh, when I was at that game. And then we have over here. Daddy. And then over here, these were some, uh, we got our tickets through StubHub uh, at the Super Bowl. And uh, so they had a few guys that came to sign stuff. So we got, this was Trent Richardson. So I'm not a 49ers fan, but I felt like if I'm going to go to the Super Bowl, I have to support someone. So my wife and I, we, we went, we were shooting for the, uh, or rooting for, for the 49ers. So it's Trent Richardson. That was AJ Green. We got to get an autograph with him. That's uh, Matt Forte and Charles Haley. We actually got his autograph, but not on this. We got it on the jersey and then a little mini helmet. All right. Uh, Haley's playing with her unicorn. Now let's go to my card shrine over here. Oh, look at this. So you guys can see I got two Curio displays. Still working on it. It's a work in progress. We just moved in in May, so we're getting there. But uh, this is where I display all my cards. So I got my, uh, this is my high school helmet on the left. A replica of Cowboys on the right. Just some other mini helmets that I got here. I was working on collecting all of them, and then uh, I'm going to display those on the sides. But... Just so you guys can get an idea of what we got here. So this is uh, row one. I'll be going through all these cards in a little bit here, but just so you can see how they're displayed. That's my Connor Williams rainbow from NT. 
You got the Darren McFadden, some 101s in there. Oh man, look at this Gallup over here. Oh, this one's a crazy shelf. Gallup, Cooper, Demarcus Lawrence, NFL Shield, Zach. I mean, not Zach. Uh, Zeke and Dak. And then we got here, oh, we got some, just some really amazing cards. I like the high-end stuff. You'll see, I don't collect too many of like the 99s and stuff like that. A lot of it's one of ones, one of two, just very unique stuff. I like the unique and all that kind of stuff here. Game War, NFL Shield, Tavan Austin, Cowboys logos, Nike swooshes. There's a Brady uh, autograph in the back. I just felt like I had to have at least one Brady auto. I just felt like he's so good, why not have at least one auto in my collection? Just some amazing cards here. Down here you can see we got uh, the blue mini helmet Cowboys. And then uh, in the back, the back right, that was at the Super Bowl. So we got everyone to sign this mini helmet as well that we saw in that picture. But uh, just love the display. So when I'm watching football on Sundays in my man cave, I get to check this out. Just something that makes me happy. It's fun collecting and I like having these unique one of a kind items. But uh, get ready. I'm not going to start going through them all. Get a little background on them. Um, not going to spend too much time on each card, but we're going to have some fun. I'll just give you guys a little example of what I collect, why I collect it, and uh, I would hope, love for you guys to comment below and yeah. share some of your PCs and what's your favorite card, comment stuff like that. Comment down below. <laughs> comment down below. Thanks, Haley. All right, let's get let's get looking at some of these one at one at a time. So I guess uh, the the best way to start off with my PC video as far as showing some stuff is. How did I get back into actually collecting cards? Uh, back in like 2000, 2001, I did a lot of collecting when I was a kid. Had all that stuff in my dad's basement for years. It was just sitting there. And basically what happened is that uh, the Cowboys in 2016 drafted Dak and Zeke. And uh, they were doing so well. I was like, I just started researching on eBay autographs for Dak Prescott. And uh, I saw a bunch of cards and I just saw that the the hobby card game changed completely since I was a kid. Uh, cards were so unique. The Nike swooshes, the NFL shields, and and I got addicted again. And it's different because you know when I was a kid, it's it's a lot harder to collect. And you know then when you have a career, you have a little bit more extra expo whatever uh, expendable income. Um, I was like, man, I I got addicted. <laughs> so uh, the set that really got me back into it, you can see here, is black gold. I, they need to bring this back. This set was, it, it just, I don't know, it just caught my eye. I loved it. And uh, that's how I got back into it, is collecting 2016 black gold. I spent a ton on, on breaks at that time. And uh, I, that's really kind of where things got started. But it was really this card that kind of got me back into it. This was, this was a 2016 Dak Prescott 2 of 2 Nike Swoosh Gold Ink on card. I bought this for twelve hundred dollars. Um, I probably could get it cheaper now, but it was one of those, you know, when when a rookie's doing amazing, their stuff just goes for crazy money. So I got the uh, the Nike swoosh. I was so nervous waiting for this to come in the mail because uh, it was the first time I really bought something this expensive. The guy had just put scotch tape on, <laughs> like on the label. I'm surprised I even got it. I was I was so nervous, but I was so pumped when I got that. So this is kind of like the card that really got me back into it. And then this, I bought this for $900, but it was a redemption. So it was actually the redemption card. And I didn't even know that redemptions usually take a long time. But luckily, Zeke stuff came in really quick. I think I got it in like a month after I redeemed it. So this was the one of two Nike swoosh. And I love that he does his Ezekiel Elliott full name. I ended up getting these graded. Uh, this one I got recently. I actually still have, I have this up on, available on eBay. I got a crazy deal. I was buying a bunch of Dak Prescott stuff during the summer when his stuff was super cheap. I know he's going to sign a big deal and his stuff's going to skyrocket and he's having a great season so far, but I just saw how, look how many breaks that is. One, two, three, four, five breaks, 83 out of 99. I love the black gold. I have it in my display case until it gets sold. I mean, I'm not in a rush, so whatever. And then I got this bad boy. This is, uh, I miss this, the Metallic Marks, one of one. This is such a cool set. So most of the Metallic Marks are black with gold ink, 
And then the one of ones, they do on a gold piece with black ink. So I got the one of one Dak Prescott. Love black gold. This is this set's just amazing. They need to bring it back. I know they brought back black, but they need to black, bring back black gold. So a couple other cards from um, that draft class. So we have Malik Collins. This is the rookie ticket. Um, I don't know why I got a nine. I think there's a little smudge on the autograph, but I was at, when I first got, I was grading a lot of my stuff. I'm uh, I'm actually leaning away from grading stuff now, unless it's already graded. I mean, I don't know. I just um, I feel like I spend a lot of money for not such good grades, and it's all good though. But Malik Collins, he's having a great year, and then this man right here, Jalen Smith, rookie ticket. He is uh, this guy's an animal. I was a little bit upset when they first picked him, to be honest, but I'm glad they did. Here's a Demarcus Ware rookie from Bowman Chrome Auto. Um, I ended up grading this one. I knew these were gonna these all grade pretty bad. I mean, this thing was when I bought it like in 2016, it was raw. And uh look at this, they got <laughs> the cards look so different back then, but love this thing. Centering, that's what's really killed me on some of these older things, is because the bottom is in the top. I didn't even know this when I was grading at the time. I probably wouldn't have graded it, but it's all good. This thing is a killer card. I got this thing in my display case. I just think it's funny. Jason Garrett on the San Antonio Riders. <laughs> it's too funny. Look at that. He's probably clapping. You can't see it, but everybody's clapping right in that picture right there. Got this Troy Aikman top super rookie. Pulled this thing when I was a little kid. This is from, uh, what was it? 1990. From 1990. And then I love this card. This is a Pogs card. I don't know if you guys, Pro Proline Classic had all these Pog cards. I was going to grade it, but it's really, the back is really messed up here because it's, you know, they're Pogs. So they kind of, I'm, I'm surprised. I guess I was uh, a little OCD as a kid because I did not pop out any of these pogs i had a bunch of these i put a lot of them in ebay packages you know but so we got troy aikman and emmett smith i think it's a really unique card so i kept it but uh pretty cool let me know if you guys have any of these pog cards all right so uh now we're getting into get into uh my running backs that are not named zeke um Got quite a few interesting ones, some that I pulled, some that I bought. Um, I have a, I like the high, so as I, I like high end cowboy stuff. So I'm always trying to find like low numbered stuff, one of ones, game worn, really interesting stuff. So right at the bat in the background, you can see these are my Emmett Smith autos that I got right here. Um, I only have four. I don't know how many more I'm going to collect, but these are some pretty crazy ones. So on the left, this I hit hitting a break. Uh, this is a two out of five game worn. Um, I love Emmett's auto. So this was distinguished pass from flawless this year. This one I ended up buying. This is a one of one with the Reebok. It's actually not game worn, but it's just such a sick card. I love the flawless and the ones that are actually uh, sealed. And then on the right, this is a uh, class of 2010. So this is from his hall of fame. This is a game worn couple, two color, four break Jersey swatch, one out of five. I actually got this one from Mob Boss. Uh, I bought this one from him. So super excited to keep that one in the PC. So those are some crazy Emmett Smith cards. And then we got this one right here. So this is a score supplemental. This is his rookie card. And uh, it's hand signed, hard signed Emmett Smith. It's authenticated PSA DNA. So just kind of like one of those iconic cards you need to have in your collection. So... I know some people might say, oh, you don't want to hard sign his rookie card. I don't mind. I like it. And that's what it comes down to. Your PC is what you like, what you enjoy. And um, this is one of those iconic cards that I really wanted to have. And I prefer it having actually being signed. So those are my Emmett Smith cards I have right there. Now, this is another one. I j literally just got this in a break with one of one card shop recently. It is uh, 8 out of 11. And it's a dual auto cleat combos, Emmett Smith and Herschel Walker, and it's both game worn. So game used materials. So that's pretty unique to have Herschel Walker 
and Emmett Smith on the same card with game worn material. So I really like this one. I just got this in. This one's going to be staying. This thing looks like leather or something. I don't even know what that's from. I mean, these are the old school. You could tell right here, this is old school stuff. <laughs> so those are pretty cool. Now, uh, let's see here. What are the running backs we got here? This is DeMarco Murray. I pulled this uh, redemption momentum from Boombox, and uh, it came pretty quick. It's 8 out of 10, 8 out of 10, and it is game-worn material. So pretty cool to actually pull the redemption and get it, you know, get it redeemed. Th three swatches, game worn, auto, DeMarco Murray. The other DeMarco Murray I had, this one I actually bought non graded. It says rookie ticket, playoff contenders from 2011. Got a 9 5 10. Really cool looking card here. Let's see. This is a cracked ice. I don't have too many cracked ice, but uh, this is Darius Jackson. I believe he's on the um, the practice squad right now. He 18 out of 24. Um, I think it was also 2016. Yeah, 2006. He was also a 2016 draft pick by the Cowboys. They let him go. He went to the Browns, tore his ACL, then came back recently. But uh, I think I bought this card raw for like 20 bucks. It was really cheap. Got it graded. And, uh, you know, it's a cracked ice. I'm just going to keep it in the... He probably won't even be on the team long, but we'll keep it in, in the PC. Cool-looking card right there. Now let's get into Moose Johnson. So this is 2 out of 7. Super short print, 2 out of 7. His auto is all over the place on this one. But uh, I got this in a trade with 808 uh, Rams Collector. He's out in Hawaii. We did a nice little trade. Got this one in, the, in that trade. So Daryl Johnson... I also picked up this on eBay year, um, years ago, but this is a hard-signed Fleer 92 Daryl Johnson. Really like the way the auto looks on this one, and I like seeing him in the in those old-school pads. And <laughs> it's just crazy having the neck collar. That's what I like about Leighton Vander Esch. He's got that neck collar, too. He just looks like a badass with that neck collar. <laughs> this one is uh, Tony. I just got this actually really recently. I like Panini 1, and I really liked the way this one looked. You got the quad uh, materials here. This is a couple three colors. Tony Dorsett on card, and it's sealed. It's a player worn material, but really nice looking card right there. Tony Dorsett. Never really got to see him play, but I know he's one of the guys that you know really helped build the Cowboys. And then this one just recently. This is one of my newest pickups. Darren McFadden Nike swoosh two out of two. This is game war material. So I'm going to tell you guys a story. So now with eBay, a lot of times they put things up for auction and it says best offer. So it was on a Sunday. I made an offer for like $45 for this. No, no, no. The guy doesn't accept it. He declines it. I want more money. Whatever. So I placed the bid. The bid was starting at like $9. So I placed the bid. I said, fine, I'll try to win it through bids. Lo and behold, I won this thing for like $33. He could have had 45 a week earlier. It's just the game you play. He Maybe he thought he was going to get more. I mean, I'm happy. I mean, I would have definitely paid more, but uh, for whatever $33 shipped or whatever it was, I'll take a two out of two game-worn Darren McFadden auto Nike swoosh. <laughs> but uh, this is, uh, th so these are my running backs that I have that are not named Zeke. I'm just, this is so much fun sharing this with you guys. I hope you really watch the whole video. And uh, let's see what's coming up next. All right, so let's move forward. Uh, thanks again, guys, if you're still watching. We're, uh, we're just really enjoying it. So first, I want to show, this is um, from, uh, I think it was 2017 Majestic. That's a really, I, I liked it. I really liked this set and the way it looked with the Cowboys. It had a lot of Cowboys greats in it. So we got the Bob Lilly at a 10. We got Jay Novacek, Cole Beasley, Dan Bailey, Charles Haley, and Ed Tutal jones Um it was, I think it looked really cool set up like that, so I, I put it in that case. Then we got this Jimmy Johnson, two out of two. Pulled that this year uh, from National Treasures. I believe that was in uh, Jaspi's Case Breaks. And then this is, uh, you guys might have seen this one recently, but this is a Tavon Austin one-of-one one game-worn NFL shield. That thing is nasty. I love the way this thing looks. It's dirty, everything like that. And... Um, this was uh, from the, the 2019 Panini Packs. So I didn't pull that. I bought it, but 
Uh, just love the way that one looks. It just really pops. Um, I missed this one uh, when I was doing my running backs, not named Zeke. This is a Tony Pollard two out of five. I actually uh, got this one in a break. It's the only Tony Pollard I'm keeping so far. Two out of five, nice super short print. I like the super short print stuff. But uh, if I do get like a NFL Shield or Nike Swoosh, I'll probably end up getting rid of this one. I prefer to have the one-on-ones or the, the actual logos and stuff like that. But that one is a, a nice addition. So let's kind of go through. I got a bunch of stuff right now. This is um, everything from some QBs and uh, just a little bit of everything right now. So first, this is uh, Cole Beasley. This is a uh, nameplate nobility, the S, and this is Game Worn. So four out of seven from his last name, Cole Beasley. This is the S. Uh, did grade it. These don't grade well. I mean, these are really thick cards. Got an eight five on it. But I picked up this one on eBay um, earlier this year. So this is uh, another Cole Beasley one of one NFL Shield. It does have a Gem Mint nine five on it. I got it. I picked it up graded, and it is game used. So that's another game used NFL Shield. This stuff is nasty. You know, this is the kind of stuff that I like. The rare stuff, one of a kind. I'm the only guy that got this card. There's not another one. I, it's, it's so much fun collecting like this. I know he's not on the team anymore, but he had some amazing games, some crazy catches for the Cowboys. And uh, that's why I want to keep these guys. So keeping with the receivers, this is uh, another Letterman, Terrence Williams, a rookie card. This is the W from his last name on his jersey. It's card one of eight. And it is signed. I think this is the only Terrence William card I had. So he's only played for the Cowboys. He's still a free agent. No one else has picked him up. But he had some amazing catches. I mean, I'll never forget that toe tap he had against the Seahawks years ago. This is a Miles Austin rookie card. Playoff contenders. Did not grade well, but, uh, you know, it was, you know, I bought this years after this card was out. I mean, it was hard to even find some of his rookie cards, but... He had some uh, some great years for us as well. This is a Dalton Schultz. This is a rookie card, 9510, not numbered. This one I just picked up recently. This is a Devin Smith one of one auto. You can see the one of one right here. Uh, he is on the Cowboys now. He's resurrecting his career. He had a crazy touchdown pass against the Redskins. Uh, he beat Josh Norman. But uh, I picked this up right be like right after they um, announced that he made the 53-man squad. I'm really happy to see someone come back from injury and uh, doing well. I mean, he was out of the league for almost two years or just being on injured reserve. So Now, I do have this Ryan Switzer, 959. This is from Unparalleled from his rookie year. Uh, this is uh, out of 149. I mean, it's one of those cards. I mean, he was a cowboy for a little bit. They traded him. It's not worth trying to sell. I'll just keep it. In, it's a great looking card. I'm just going to keep it in the in <laughs> in the actual um, in the PC. He had a crazy punt return that one year. Uh, here's some other guys. So this is a rookie Byron Jones Prism rookie green and uh, nine five ten. This is numbered eleven out of ninety nine. He's had a I mean a Pro Bowler last year. I bought this card raw. Got it graded. It's pretty cool to get the nine five on it. He's having an amazing year playing cornerback with Chris Richard, the basically the defensive coordinator. And then on the other side of him, we got Chidobi Awuze. This is a rookie card from Optic Blue. Got a 9-5 on this one, 10 auto. He's having a great season. He's getting a lot of action because people don't want to throw to Byron Jones' side. So it's 20 out of 75. Great looking card. I bought that one raw as well and got it graded. Every Cowboys collection's got to have a Jerry Jones. So uh, <laughs> this is 4 out of 25. I think I got this for like 50 bucks, which I think is a steal. Um, it's, uh, when he got elected into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, 4 out of 25, class of 2017. You just got to have it. You got to have the Jimmy Johnson. You got to have the Jerry Jones autos in the collection. This is uh, Taco Charlton, also no longer on the Cowboys after the recent trade. To, or on, Well, they released him, and then the Miami picked him up in waivers. But this was a cool-looking card from Unparalleled. The only rookie card I picked up of him. Uh, 53 out of 99. I'll keep it. Cool-looking card. Great name. I mean, come on. A guy named Taco and his signature is Taco. You got to keep a card like that. Let's do some more defense here. So this is... Uh, 
Third round pick of this year, Tristan Hill. He doesn't have many autos. I think Absolute was the first set that he had autos come out of. He's kind of off sticker. 52 out of 75. Um, got this in a break as well. Uh, one of the similar breaks that I got the Tony Pollard. But uh, yeah, I'll just be keeping it for now just to have one of his autos. Got a Randy Gregory. Still uh, suspended for indefinitely. Maybe he'll get back in. Unfortunately, he, uh, he likes that ganja a little bit too much. 44 out of 99. And um, I got a 10 on the auto, which is awesome because this is an acetate card. And I, be, I've seen, I'm sure you guys see it. A lot of these immaculate acetate, they just smudge the autos because it's, it's just, I don't know. It's a great set, but if you get a lot of these autos get smudged. So pretty cool that the auto is not smudged. We'll see if he comes back. I'm sure he'll come back in time for like a playoff run. This is uh, Dorrance Armstrong. He's still on the Cowboys currently. Uh, 21 out of 92. This is the jersey number ticket stub variation. Uh, I got this for like 16 bucks. Picked it up just to add to the PC, just to have an auto of his. You know, not too bad. I'd like to have a, this different variation. We got Anthony Hitchens. So this is a rookie ticket, 959. He was an animal when he was playing for the Cowboys. He just he just became too expensive, which happens to a lot of these Cowboys players. They play well. They're just they go to free agency, and they the Cowboys have been having a good uh, good mindset. They're not paying everybody, but they're trying to take care of their own as much as they can. So now he's on the Chiefs. This is a cool card, nine out of fifty four impeccable numbers. Randy White. These are the, those are these are the canvas ones. They're actually hard to grade from impeccable because of the canvas. Um, but I did get a nine five on this one. And uh, 10 on the auto. So Randy White, impeccable. Great looking card right there. Look at this monster. All decades, Roger Staubach, two out of three. Super short print. This is from National Treasures. Uh, I got a nine on this one because of the edges. Eight, five on the edges. Maybe there's, I don't know why they're the eight, five. There must be a ding or something. I didn't, I didn't think it was that bad, but. I'm not really grading cards as much anymore. I feel like I just can't keep up with how they grade, and it's it's so inconsistent, so kind of giving up on it. It's just, and it becomes expensive. But we got a 10 on the auto. Got to have a Roger, a Roger Staubach in the, in the collection. My man, Darren Woodson. This guy, you guys know. I mean, he was just a monster in the back, in the back of the defense. This is uh, the final from the Super Bowl against the Bills, 30-13. to 13. This is 5 out of 25. This is another one of those impeccable uh, canvas ones. This one's like, you know, 9 on this, 10 on – I did get a 10 on the auto, which is actually kind of funny because I didn't think his auto was as good. But uh, we'll take it. This is a beautiful card. I love these canvas looks. I don't know if you can, the camera can catch it through the, the case, but really nice looking card there. This one I pulled out of one of my breaks this year. I was in, uh, if you guys saw, I was in tons of flawless breaks this year, trying to hit some ma massive cards. This is one of them. So Darren Woodson on card auto from flawless, four colors. Well, basically four breaks, three colors, 16 out of 20. This one is player worn, but just a great looking card. I really grew up on the Cowboys, you know, back in the day when they were playing, um, you know, some great football. They won those three Super Bowls. That was right in my impressionable years. So it really uh, ingrained my love for the Cowboys even more. And then I got this bad boy, a one of one Darren Woodson from Certified. This was a part of the trade I had with 808 uh, Rams collector out in Hawaii. Trade him some nice Rams cards. And uh, I got this and that Daryl, uh, the Daryl Johnson, but nice one of one. Nine, I ended up grading it, got a nine, five, 10. Just that, that black mirror signature is beautiful. Got a couple interesting cards here. He's no longer on the Cowboys. This is Mike White. Uh, he was the third stringer. They let him go. But uh, this is one of those midnight RPAs. Uh, so nice patch on it. Beautiful signature. It's acetate as well. This, is, uh, this was a redemption, which actually redeemed pretty quickly from Panini. But uh, I just love this uh, this midnight color on it. It looks amazing. So I got this in uh, 
uh, one of the brakes. It was actually uh, nasty brakes that I pulled that pulled this one. And then I picked up this as well. This is um, the Mike White uh, Rookie Booklet Auto Tag Patch. So I got a really good deal on it. I got it, it was on bids on eBay. I think I got it for like 40 bucks, which is cheap for a tag patch. But what I really like about this one too, it's number three out of five, which is jersey number as well. So he's jersey number three, three out of five. It's a cool looking car and I'm keeping it in the PC. I'm not gonna let go of this one. You know, maybe he'll have, uh, he'll pick up on another team somewhere, but he was in the Cowboys for a year and a half and uh, we'll keep it. Here's uh, the GOAT. We got Jason Witten. This guy is a monster. He can't. I'm so glad he came back for this year. 9 out of 15. This is a, another one I pulled from my breaks from Flawless this year. Three color patch. On card auto. Love that card. Got this one. Jason Witten and Antonio Gates. One of one dual Nike swooshes. I think this was, I think I got it like maybe like seventy-five or eighty dollars on eBay, which was a steal. I originally bought it to put in one of my hot packs, and then I'm like, what am I doing? I need to keep the I need to keep a Jason Witten swoosh in my PC. <laughs> so that's ended up that's what ended up happening is I kept that one. It's a rare card. A few others here, just real quick. So another Jason Witten here. So this one's 15 out of 15, three color, beautiful patch on this one. National Treasures. This is from 2014. And uh, this one is Game Worn. So this is a Game Worn Jason Witten. 15 out of 15, beautiful three color swatch on that one. Then I got my Sean Lee. This is one of the few cards I had. So this card, my wife picked up for me for Christmas. Um, it was, uh, I just, you know, she's like, what do you want me to buy you? So I was like, oh, I just gave her the link for this one. And she, uh, she bought for me for Christmas. So this is uh, 2010 contender, Sean Lee, rookie auto, nine, five, 10. You just got to have one of these in your, in your collection. I mean, this guy, I feel bad that he gets injured all the time. But uh, I think he's a great team player. I like how he's always supporting, uh, you know, Leighton Van Der Esch and Jalen Smith. So I really appreciate it about him. One of my favorites right here. Tony Romo, one of one, NFL Shield, and it's game-worn, game-worn material. Love that. That thing's awesome. So rare to find his stuff. I got this thing for like $130. I mean, his stuff goes for way more now. His stuff's actually, his stuff went up in price when he started doing the, the, um, the commenting and um, being, a, being a sports commenter or whatever you call it, broadcaster. His stuff went way up. So, I mean, I've seen cards like this now for like five, $600. So, I mean, this was a, a true steal for $130, a one of one auto game worn NFL shield. Love this one. So glad to have this one in my collection. I, I feel bad for, for Romo. I mean, he had the short end of the stick a lot of times. People feel like he threw a lot of late game interceptions, which he did, but he made some magic happen for sure. I was always, it was always fun watching him. I mean, he had those heartbreaks, like the bobbled snap on the field goal against um, Seahawks and stuff like that. But what do you do? This one's an awesome card. Deion Sanders, two out of five from Flawless. What I really, so this was from, from Flawless this year as well. I hit it in one of my breaks. But what I like about it is you do have this team progression. So you have three of the teams that he was on with the Falcons, 49ers, and the Cowboys. Just a really rare card. I mean, he even played on the, the Redskins and the Ravens. He was everywhere. <laughs> he was just one of those, one of those guys. He, those, uh, those personalities are hard to deal with. But uh, he had some memorable, memorable punt returns and interception returns. Let's grab one more here of the uh, my Deion Sanders. This was another one that same year that I got the um, the Sean Lee. I got this from my wife as well for Christmas. Deion Sanders, one of one printing plate. This card, every time I post this card, everybody's trying to buy it from me. It drives me crazy. 
I, even though I'm like not for sale, not for trade, this is my PC item, my wife bought it for me, like this one's not moving. Any gifts from my wife, I'm definitely not gonna get rid of, but it's a one of one printing plate, primetime Dion. Sorry guys, you can't have it, but love this card. Next up, we're gonna hit some linemen, and then uh, we're gonna get into the big boys with Zeke and Dak, uh, some other ones, so stay tuned. Next up, we got some linemen. So the Cowboys have been investing a lot of assets, a lot of resources, a lot of money into their offensive line, and it makes a big difference. I mean, they've had uh, Zeke's been the the uh, rushing champion two two years already. DeMarco Murray was the rushing champion one year. So it's been really amazing. Uh, so these are a couple. First, first off, we got a couple amazing cards here. I got this Travis Frederick one of one Nike swoosh from Majestic. This is uh, game use material. I'm so glad to have him back. He, uh, we definitely missed him on the line last year. Um, I mean, Joe Looney came in and did a great job, but I mean, Travis Frederick is an animal. So beautiful, beautiful card right there. Another one of those cards that people are just trying to, it's so rare to find stuff from him that everybody wants this card. I like that they want it. It's not going anywhere. It's staying with me. And then I picked up this. Got it graded because it, uh, I just think it looked better graded. But uh, Travis Frederick, this is from Select. It's uh, one of those gold die cut parallels. Seven out of ten, super short print. But um, the surface got an eight. I think there's like a line in here somewhere from, you know, like right in here. It just kind of didn't print well. You can kind of see it. But anyway, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Beautiful looking card. Some of my Travis Fredericks right there. Some of our other linemen we invested a lot of money in. This is a Zach Martin uh, rookie ticket, playoff ticket, 89 out of 199. I actually picked this up a few years ago from the Panini Rewards points. So the, I got, you got this with some points. Got it graded. He is a beast. I think he's been in the Pro Bowl like four years in a row, five years in a row, something like that. We got Lael Collins. He just got a nice contract. This is uh, one of the cracked ice. Got this from DK Cards on his eBay. So Leo Collins, 12 out of 23 cracked ice rookie ticket. Beautiful looking card right there. And then I have this uh, die cut here of Leo Collins from Select. Um, one of those uh, prism, you know, refractor type cards. And this one is numbered 71 out of 99. Didn't grade so bad. Um, corners, of course, with the die cut, it's tough. So corners got an 8.5, but it did get a 9 mint overall. And let's see here. What other we what other what else we got for Tyron Smith Panini Prism? Beautiful looking card. Got a nine five ten on this one. This one is not numbered, but uh, that's like this black parallel prism. Looks amazing. He's been anchoring our left tackle spot for years now. Uh, I missed this one with the Jason Witten, but this is a uh, game-worn swatch Jason Witten. I pulled this out of National Treasures this year, game-used material. So pretty cool. This one's uh, 48 out of 99. It's part of the Jason Witten one. And this, this is just a, I, I like this card. It's a mini of Tony Romo. I just wanted to keep it because it's really interesting. I like this little mini card. Let's kind of keep it on the side. <laughs> but let's... um. This is the rainbow. I don't really do rainbows. I know a lot of people like rainbows and stuff like that, but this is um, the only rainbow that I really worked on. I'm pretty much, I'm like two cards away from, uh, technically three cards away from completing it, but this is the um, Connor Williams from National Treasures Rookie Auto, and I'll quickly go through it. So you have out of 75, 11 out of 49, 9 out of 25. Now, some of these I pulled from a break, I think I pulled like two or three, and that's why I was like, well, I already have like three out of the, the whatever, so then I kind of bought the rest. Forget which ones I pulled. I know I pulled this one, so 24 out of 52, the red. This one was definitely pulled from one of the breaks I was in. Two out of 10, Connor Williams. Oh, this one, I this is one of the ones I pulled. Five out of five, green, emerald. This one's super thick, too. I don't know why it's extra thick, but Connor Williams. And then I have two of the printing plates so far. Connor Williams. I don't know why this one, the auto is so different. It's the only one that's different. But these are both one of ones. Uh, we have, um, what is this? The yellow printing plate and the black printing plate so far. So I would need magenta and uh, cyan. 
and then their actual you know platinum one of one as well so missing three cards maybe they'll pop up i haven't seen them pop up i haven't you know if they do i'll grab them maybe someone already has them in their collection and there's nothing i can do about it if you see them let me know you know i'm a buyer but uh that's where i am right now my connor williams rainbow pretty cool to have that also All right, we're going to continue with some Gallup and Van Der Esch now. Um, this is actually a Zach Martin, though. I missed this one. Every time I, like, switch it up, I seem to miss one. But this is a Zach Martin. This is actually my first deal on Instagram with anybody. Actually, Rocket Cards 34 uh, He had this card. He posted it. I think someone even tagged me, like, because I know I collect Cowboys. And um, I got a great deal on it. It's number one out of five Zach Martin game used. I don't remember what I paid, but it was a good deal. And uh, got a nine mint on it, but beautiful looking card. Love having game used. So that's another Zach Martin that's uh, from Select. And uh, and then Gallup, I mean, he's been, this guy, he's just getting better and better and better. Too bad he's got a knee injury, but he should be back soon. So first, most of these I ended up buying. I didn't hit as many of the good stuff that I wanted to, but the first you have the uh, Michael Gallup Tag Patch Booklet. This is uh, this thing's amazing. This I got for one hundred and thirty dollars through auction on eBay, which is a steal. Is number one out of five, and uh, that thing is nasty. Just love that card. Just love those full tag patches, and I like them in the booklets. That's that's when booklets look nice when you get them like that. And then I got this thing. I bought this. This one ended up being three hundred uh, three thirty. But uh, it's so rare to get this stuff. This is the Black Finite NFL Shield one of one Michael Gallup Prime Selection. Uh, yeah, look at that one of one. I love the way they do the one of one in the cursive right there. I mean, it's it's super thick. It like the card. It's like coming out of the card. <laughs> I just love this thing. So I'm telling you prices, guys, just to give you an idea of what things cost, what I'm willing to pay sometimes, and. Um, yeah, just kind of sharing a little bit. Let's see. This bad boy right here, Michael Gallup from Immaculate with the Cowboys logo, 7 out of 11. This is pretty cool. Actually, uh, I did a trade. I traded a Devin Hester game-used auto for this uh, with Moose's sports cards. That's how I ended up with this one for the Gallup PC. Got this bad boy, 97 out of 99 with a piece of the star. This is a true RPA from National Treasures. And um, I really, the only reason I picked this one up is because it had a piece of the star on it. Most of them did not have that. And um, I just love the look of this. I got it for like 60 bucks, which I thought was a steal for the true RPAs. And uh, his stuff's only going to be going up as, I mean, he could be a true number one receiver, really, the way he's been going. Um, but it's nice him, him, him having Amari Cooper helps a lot. Then we got this bad boy. This thing is nasty. Michael Gallup, rookie Optic Dunruss with Bo from the Cowboys. This was from Hobby Card Hits. Uh, she she pulled it like one pack at her LCS. Got this bad boy. A bunch of a bunch of us Cowboy fans got tagged in it, and luckily I was the uh, I don't know if I was the highest bidder or the quickest to, to pull the trigger, but uh, I I was able to get this thing. What's really cool, it's 13 out of 15, which is jersey number as well. So 13 out of 15, 9, 5. I, it, I don't know. I'm just, I, I just love seeing these unique cards and like being able to swipe them up. Let's see. Here's another one. This is from Obsidian. Michael Gallup, one of one NFL Shield. Got this from Maxis Sports Cards. Got the one of one on that. Just goes great together. Let's see, what else do I got here? I picked up this. This is a Michael Gallup uh, Cracked Ice 23 out of 23. Um, it's in his college uni. I try not to grab things in college uni. It was, I gotta, if you'll notice, I, I pick things up when I find good deals. It's not that I'm overpaying for cards. It's that I just kind of know the market and I know when there's a good deal. I think this is like thirty or forty dollars, which for cracked ice, it was really cheap. It was a great deal. I think it was more like thirty dollars. So I picked it up, added it to the PC, and uh, you know, as he keeps going off, it's uh, going to go up in value. Not that it really matters because it's part of my PC, but 
you know, we'll, we'll keep it, we'll keep it in there. Um, Michael Gallup, this is a nice one with a piece of the, the numbering on there, 49 out of 99. This is actually a trade that I did with uh, Twins, uh, Twinsy Trouble. So that's why I'm keeping that one. Got this bad boy from Origins last year, Michael Gallup, 3 out of 10. Big piece of the star in this one. I uh, got this for $110 on eBay and got it slabbed. So another nice rookie auto with the piece of the star. This bad boy, Michael Gallup, also from Origins, one of one. Gold ink with his number, number 13 on that. Uh, this was a mile high, it was like mile high card, card collector or something like that. I don't know the exact Instagram name, but uh, he had pulled this out of one of his boxes and uh, we, we made a deal pretty quick on this one. I was pretty happy to grab this and then got it slabbed as well. So got a lot of, I got a lot more Michael Gallup than I was expecting, but uh, it's all good. We'll, uh, we'll keep it moving with some Gallup. I'm sure I'll find some more good stuff. And this is, um, I got this through bids and I bid like $104 and I, it was, I thought I was going to go for a lot more. It's a gold vinyl, dual Nike swoosh, Dak Prescott, Michael Gallup. And then I won at $104 and it was really weird because I just really didn't expect to win it. But uh, happy I did. Nice one of one. Got it slabbed. So most of these cards I got, I bought raw and then slabbed them myself. Like I said, I'm not doing as much grading anymore. But beautiful gold vinyl Spectra dual Nike swooshes. Then this is a, um, a duel of Leighton Vanderish and Michael Gallup from uh, Panini. You got six out of 99. This was a, a redemption. Um, pulled this out of one of my breaks from National Treasures this year and I was happy that it actually came through. So two young studs for the Cowboys. Now talking about Leighton Vander Esch, let's get into some LVE. The Wolf Hunter. So we got Leighton Vander Esch. This is from Unparalleled. A really clean card. Uh, rookie Auto. Got it slabbed 9-5-10. I did pull this from one of my breaks um, that I was in at that time. So beautiful card there. This is another one. It's really rare to have defensive players to have swatches. So I was really happy to hit this. It was also redemption. The, um, you know, Panini's quality control, amazing again with that crooked redemption, but it doesn't matter. 16 out of 99. This is uh, basically an RPA because you do have a piece of the jersey there. Uh, so Leighton Van Der Esch, and it is sealed from Panini. So it's good. I always love when um, a lot of these redemptions, right before the National, they were pumping out a lot of uh, redemptions, getting them out to people. I think because they had those like white boxes and black boxes that people wanted to trade up for and they wanted that line to be less at the National. So they were pumping out redemptions like crazy right before the National. And then I got this bad boy. Another crack dice, Leighton Van Der Esch, 15 out of 24. Also got this from eBay from DK Cards. Uh, different time than the uh, the Leo Collins, but just crack dice is an amazing parallel. It looks great. Um, a little bit, corners are a little bit soft, so I decided not to grade it. And this is kind of when I started to uh, get away from grading anyway. So beautiful card here. Let's get into the next the next section. All right, we're starting to wind down here. Kind of going to go through a lot of stuff, and then uh, we're going to get into Dak and Zeke towards the end. Um, first, it's not a cowboy, but this is a Tom Brady autograph. Like I said, you just got to have a Brady auto in your collection. This is the goat. So this is, uh, it did not grade well. It's immaculate on card five out of 10 in his Michigan uni, but this is a $600 card. Uh, his stuff in his, in Patriots unis are crazy prices. Um, I just slabbed it just to protect it. I knew it wasn't going to grade well. The corners were just, you know, a little bit beat up here. You can see a lot of the white, but. Hey, I got an auto of Tom Brady in my collection. That, that and his rookie card. So it feels a little bit more complete that way. Uh, in the background, so you can see this is Jalen Smith. Uh, three, one of one. So this is actually technically a rainbow because he, he doesn't have much stuff out there. Not much autos, not, definitely not much materials. These three are all game worn. Got the NFL Shield, the Nike Swoosh, and the Tag Patch, all one of ones from this year's Flawless. I was trying to hit these in the breaks. I did not. I had to buy them all, but uh, it's just amazing. I mean, I'm so happy that they took a chance on them. They gave them a great contract, 
So he's going to be on the team for years. He's an animal. And uh, yeah, these are just, these are one of the prides of my collection right now. To go along with that though, I got the Amari Cooper NFL Shield one of one from Flawless. Got this from um, PDX Pack Ripper. Haven't seen him around as much, but uh, that was a great deal from him. And then I have the Demarcus Lawrence one of one. And this one is game used as well. So this is a game used. So these four are game used. This one's player worn, but it's pretty cool to have a, a good amount of those NFL shields from this year's Flawless. Um, I really like the set this year. I think they did a great job. So keeping up with Amari Cooper, I got this bad boy. Nike Swoosh Amari Cooper, four out of five. It is in his uh, Raiders Uni, but that's all right. We'll keep it. We'll keep it around. It looks great. Is this a uh, John Gruden, huh? So I guess he. This was from. Uh, I think this was last year. Then four to five, and then I got these two bad boys in his um, his Cowboys Uni. So we got Amari Cooper. Uh, this is the uh, Pl NFL Players Union tag patch. This one is four out of five. And then this one I hit in a break, the Nike Swoosh Amari Cooper. This one is three out of five. And this was from South Texas Breaks, uh, Card Breaks. Uh, he hit that in a, a majestic box for me. So I got those two bad boys, Amari Cooper. Uh, autos with some tag, tag patches there. Now let's talk about Troy Aikman. I don't have a lot of Aikman stuff. I got this one right here. This is a one-of-one one game worn patch from uh, UCLA. The, the funny here's a funny story about this one. So this one was actually in I when I first started doing hot packs, I did them on eBay. My second hot pack that I did was uh, or my first I'm sorry my first hot pack I ever did. Sorry, I just had a phone call come in and then uh, stop the video. So my first hot pack I ever did was all Dallas Cowboys. And then I did a second version with all one of ones. And this card was in it. So someone hit this card in, uh, in one of my hot packs. I ended up buying it back from him and uh, decided to keep it in my collection. So I got 10 on the corner on corners. So 10 on corners and centering. Nice one of one game worn. And then there's this bad boy. NFL Shield booklet, one of one game worn Troy Aikman from National Treasures. This one was crazy. So it was really interesting. They had a, it's really rare that I do this, but they had this up for bids. And uh, the second, I, the second it got listed, I saw it. Cause I, I basically follow, uh, you know, NFL Shield. I follow and just and I always see what's coming up. This popped up. It was like starting bid was like two hundred dollars, and buy it now for six hundred. If this thing went to bids, it would have went way over six hundred dollars. So I just snatched it up at six hundred dollars, buy it now, which I almost never do. And it seems expensive, but how many game worn Troy Aikman NFL shields are there out there? This thing would have went way higher. I know there are some people that would have uh, saw this and would have definitely been going after it. So. Happy to have this. This thing is nasty. <laughs> so another game worn. Beautiful card right there. And then I got this bad boy. So this is um, from Playbook Split Six. So I got I got six of the guys on here. So I got Tony Romo and Troy Aikman. Then you got Darren McFadden and Emmett Smith, Des Bryant and Michael Irvin. And it's a one of one. This is uh, I believe. I think it's the magenta printing plate. So one of one, all the guys on here. I got it graded. I didn't realize these, I don't really want to grade, I don't grade booklets anymore. They're, they come back so thick, it's kind of crazy. Got a nine on it, but this thing is nasty. Pretty cool to have all those guys on that card. And it looks great. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty now. Now we're into Dak Prescott. So we're gonna show all the Dak Prescott stuff. Um, I'll explain the last card in a second here. So first up, we got a uh, cap patch from Encased. 47 out of 75, rookie auto from the cap. These are actually a really, I like these from the set. I think they're really interesting. I think they're unique. So I got this bad boy, 47 out of 75, the cap patch. 
Got this one. This is from uh, Plates and Patches. This is one out of eight, full coverage. It's from a from the last name Prescott. It's the P. So pretty cool there. Nice unique card. Pulled this out of um, one of my breaks this year at National Treasures. Ten out of forty nine dual color and it is game used so uh, that's why i'm keeping it usually i don't keep just like little things like that but i like those game used this is the black printing plate from xr this i actually pulled uh in one of my videos i had two one of ones in one pack in xr this is one of the cards uh because i pulled it myself usually i wouldn't keep uh, printing plates that have no auto but this one looks really good the black really pops i really like it so i got that one of one that's why I kept that bad boy. Some of you guys might have already seen this one. This is the one of one private signings white ink auto on white. Because, you know, white on white is right. No. <laughs> but uh, I know another uh, Panini fail right there. But I, it actually looks way better in person. The white actually does really pop. And uh, it is a one of one. So, And I have the matching Zeke to this one. But this is a great looking card. Then I got this bad boy. This I picked up from uh, MC Sports Cards uh, on eBay. So crazy patch right here. It's uh, what, one, two, three colors, but like five breaks. On card, auto, and it's four out of 15. So that's his jersey number as well. So four out of 15 from Flawless. Only a nine on the auto because it did kind of break there a little bit, but loving this card. This thing is just nasty looking. Then I treated myself to this card because I got a super steal on it. Uh, basically, when they when when Zach I and mean, when Zeke and Dak first came out, I mean their stuff was going crazy. That 2016 year, their rookie cards were selling for like just crazy money. This card, I think this card originally sold for like three thousand or thirty five hundred back in 2016. Uh, I had been watching it on eBay, and it was on a best offer. And I had some eBay bucks. I got the guy down to $1,000. It was already graded 9.5. It's a one of one gold spectra, dual NFL shield. You know, this is their rookie autos. So I got this thing for $1,000, which is a super steal. I, I mean, it's definitely worth way more than that. And it's, I mean, it's priceless for me. I never thought I would have this card, but I was really happy. I mean, to use my eBay bucks for part of the portion and then just, it was only $1,000. I mean, it was, I know it sounds like, I know some of you guys are like, only $1,000, but. When you get two of the iconic figures in the history of the Cowboys on one card, dual NFL shields, one of one autos, you grab it. And that's what happened with this card. So this bad boy, I'm sure if you guys have followed along, you know this thing. This thing, this is really what I was chasing when I, I joined, I don't know, 35 to 40 case breaks of Flawless this year with the Cowboys. And I was searching for this card. This thing is just... This is the best card the Cowboys have, you know, one of their the best Cowboy cards out there. So this is a dual NFL shield. It's a booklet sealed from Flawless, Dak and Zeke autos, and it's game worn for both of them. Game worn. And when they first listed this thing, it was like $15,000 or best offer, which is, I was not, never going to be anywhere near that. And then, then they kept bringing the price down and... I kind of watched it a little bit. I made some offers, but they were nowhere close. I was trying to do like 2,000. Couldn't get it for 2,000. Then he put it up at like 2,000 starting bid with 3,500 uh, 3, buy it now. And uh, it was either 3,000 or 3,500. I don't remember. Maybe 3,000. Whatever it was, I just, I, it took me like, good 20 minutes to do it, but I just ended up biting the bullet and doing buy it now. And now I own the card and I love it. This thing's not going anywhere. This is my holy grail. It's amazing. So that thing is staying in the collection. Now let's get into some Zeke and we'll finish this bad boy up. Thanks again for watching guys. Let's get into Zeke. All right, let's finish this bad boy up. This video has been insane. It's so much fun sharing all of these great hits with you guys. Um, you know, these are all like little videos that I'm putting together and snipping it all together of the whole PC. Uh, thanks again for watching, but let's get into Zeke. Um, some great iconic cards. So we already talked about these two duels. 
This one on the left right here, such an iconic card, National Treasures, one of one booklet, NFL Shield with his full auto. Um, it went up for bids and it, I, a lot of this stuff, when it goes during, and during season, the stuff goes for way higher. It was off season and I just, I ended up winning with like a $1,600 bid. It sounds like a lot of money, but the, like I said, this stuff, when it first came out in 2016, and they were having like their amazing rookie year. Their prices were like three, five, six thousand. Even now, now that he got that contract, his prices rose as well. So I got it at the perfect time. It went for bids. I got a great deal on it. I know sixteen hundred dollars sounds like a lot, but for a card like this, it's an amazing deal. And these are my PC. This is stuff that I collect it. I'm not going to be selling it. This will probably my grandkids will end up getting it passed down to them or whatnot. But um. It's it's fun. I mean, this is this is why we collect for amazing cards like this. I would love to pull some of these. I try, but you know, sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet and buy what you want. But let's get into some more Zeke cards. So this is a cleat patch, uh, Nike swoosh, sixteen out of twenty eight. Things nasty. It's super thick card. It, I mean, it's so thick it like pops out of the the actual card itself. Got this one. This one's a cool card. This one, absolutely. Remember, I don't know if you guys remember. They had these last last year. They had these uh, these glass etched ones. They're super thick. It's a really heavy card. I mean, this thing's super heavy. I was actually hoping to get a black label because I saw some of these glass ones get black labels. I did not get it. I bought the card. I bought the actual glass card for like fifty bucks. Then got it slabbed as a nine five. But it's really cool looking. It's probably hard to see with all the stuff in the background. I got this one right here. This is a one of one salute to service NFL shield. Uh, ended up grading it and got 9.5. I was really happy with that one. Just a really rare, unique card. Another NFL shield of Zeke. You guys probably saw me posting this recently. Got this card, two out of two. Um, Nike swoosh auto. This is a second year auto, but only for like $200, which is again, another steal. Sometimes, you know, that's why I don't do bids like or do auctions on eBay because a lot of times if if it's not the right time for a collector to buy, they won't buy and they won't bid, even though the card's worth a lot more. So at that time, it was during the summer. He was during a holdout. They ju People just weren't searching to buy his stuff. So it went a lot lower than it probably should have. So for $200, it was a great steal. So good for me. But that's why I do all my stuff buy it now because, you know, when you do sell, you want to make sure you're getting the best price possible. And uh, I mean, unless you really need the money, then you do the auction, but it usually ends up, um, I'm always disappointed when I do auctions, really what it comes down to. He just got this bad boy in, Cracked Ice Auto, seven out of 10. This was through Panini Rewards, it was 2,500 points. And um, yeah, they've been stepping up their game. It was really cool for 25, I already, I try to keep some points in there all the time because now they're starting to pop up some cool stuff every now and then. So this is my first Cracked Ice of Zeke. We got the uh, the matching one of one to go with the deck here. So this is the private signings, white on white, one of one Zeke to go with the deck. I got, this is the blue shimmer. This is from last year's Prism, 2017, or um, 2018 Prism, blue shimmer parallel. These are numbered out of nine. Got 10, 10, 9, 5, and 9, 5. So a gem mint 9, 5, and it's eight out of nine. So super short print. I usually don't keep parallels, but I did pull this in a break. And um, because it is a super short print, I figured I'd keep it in the collection. And uh, I like these. This blue shimmer is probably one of the better parallels I've seen that they've come out with. It's very unique. You don't see it very often or anything really quite like it. So I really enjoyed that. And to finish us off, I got this right here. The... Dual. So this is Rookie Auto Booklets, one of ones from Playbook. And you got the Cowboys logo here, matching Cowboys logo. So it was actually really cool. So this is the, the black one. This is the yellow. This is what I did a trade with Max Sports Cards. Um, it was kind of a crazy trade we did. It was definitely, I don't trade often and I do trust him and that's why we're able to work something out. But it was a very high value trade. I mean, I think our trade ended up being like, $1,600 worth of value for each of us. So we traded each other $1,600 worth of value. Um, so to get these, I traded him two of my Brady rookies that were graded and my Mason Rudolph NFL Shield booklet one of one. 
And then I got these two, another, another Zeke, and then some, uh, some PayPal. So it was a pretty crazy trade. I've never done one that big. I'm sure I'll do another one in the future, but uh, it, it's, uh, it netted me these two bad boy PC items right here. Uh, it's really cool to have both of them and that it shows Cowboys. Anyway, guys, that's my personal collection. Thanks so much for watching. I had a great time showing you. It's, going, it's, it's so much fun going over the prices, the stories, and uh, I hope they have a great year. I really want to see another Cowboy Super Bowl, but I just really enjoy each season. I love watching them win. I like watching them go through adversity. I really enjoy watching Jerry Jones make moves. I want to see your PCs. If you guys have a PC video that you have posted before, uh, hit me up in the comments and I'll go watch your PC video. I want to see what you guys have. And uh, if not, then make one and post it and let's watch it. I want to see what you guys got. I want to see how you display it. I hope you guys got some ideas and, uh, you know, don't feel discouraged. Little by little, you can build up your PC and uh, just really know what you like. And if you like it, don't worry about the price. Sometimes it doesn't matter what the price is. If it's an amazing card, you just got to buy it. Anyway, guys, thanks again. Peace. Let's go, Cowboys.